<laughs> Hello all, welcome back to Shaking with Pegleg. Appreciate y'all being here, my regulars and the new subscribers. Appreciate you being here, really do. Sorry, my chair moved. I mean, <laughs> uh, I'm going to use the Rolls Razor today. I'm hoping I got it sharpened up. This one I ran 50 times on the stone and then 56, 70 times, excuse me, on the straw. And then I went back and did it another 100 times on the stone and 125 times on the straw. So I'm hoping I got it sharpened up. If not, I'll have to pause and switch razors, but we'll find out, won't we? Since it's my Halloween shave, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a shave video on Halloween. Uh, there'll be too many of them. Uh, you'll be flooded with them for Halloween. So I'm doing mine today on Saturday. And the soap I am using, of course, uh, should be my Thomas Shelby signature scent shave, but it's not. That's gonna have to wait till Tuesday because my Halloween shave I've got to use Barrister and Man Hollows. There's the pour. You can see it's got two different colors on it. That's why you should always check your soaps to make sure it's the same pour all the way through. Some of them you have to take a chunk out, and some of them you can just go around and scrape the whole thing. Um, the Four Horsemen series are the same soap all the way through the tub, so you can scrape. This is not. I don't have the aftershave for this, but I do have the balm. So for an aftershave, I'm just going to use chisel face natural unscented sample of aftershave I'll use that I got the lather all whipped up nice and creamy just the way I want it because I don't know if you can see it as soon as I pull it up pull the brush up the peaks that come up with the brush as soon as I pull the brush out, they flop over, and that's exactly how I like my soap. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's where I have it. I got a Halloween cough, right? When you know it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn. Okay, hotter than hell in here again. It always is in this bathroom. It's so small, my fat ass throws off so much body heat. I heat it up. I could heat a family of four in here. All right. Halloween. Um, observed in many countries on October 31st um, and it's the beginning of the All Hallow Tide celebration which goes from the 31st November 1st, November 2nd it's dedicated to remembering the dead including saints which are hallows <clears throat> martyrs and all the departed um You know what? Let's start. Let's just start the shave. Let me read this to you. We can, we can go from there. One theory holds that many traditions were influenced by Celtic's harvest festivals, particularly the Gaelic festival Samhain, which Southern witchcraft has a Samhain soap, and PAA has blue Samhain. Um. And some suggest that Samhain may have been Christianized as All Hallows Day, along with its Eve, and by the early church. Other academics believe Halloween began solely as a Christian holiday, being the vigil of All Hallows Day. Celebrated in Ireland and Scotland for centuries, Irish and Scottish immigrants took many Halloween customs to North America in the 19th century. And then from North America, it pretty much spread throughout everywhere in the 20th and 21st century. Um, let me skip. By the end of the 12th century, they had become holy, holy days of obligation in Western Christianity, involved such traditions as ringing church bells for souls in purgatory. It was also customary for criers dressed in black to parade through the streets, ringing a bell for, of mournful sound and calling on all good Christians to remember the poor souls. The All Hallow Tide custom of baking and sharing soul cakes for all Christian souls 
has been suggested as the origin for trick-or-treating because the kids would go door to door um, looking for the cakes from everybody and that's how they a lot of them would eat that day <clears throat> the custom dates back at least as far as the 15th century it was found in parts of England Wales Flan Flanders Bavaria and Austria Groups of poor people, often children, would go door-to-door -door during All Hallows Eve, collecting soul cakes in exchange for praying for the dead, especially the soul of the giver's friends and relatives. This was called souling. Soul cakes were marked with a cross, indicating they were baked as alms for the dead. Many Christians in mainland Europe, especially in France, believed that once a year on Halloween, the dead of the churchyards rose for one wild, hideous carnival known as Danse Macabre. Dance of the Dead. The Dance of the Macabre. In Britain, these customs came under attack during the Reformation as Protestants berated purgatory as a popish, as being popish. For nonconformist Protestants, All Hallows Eve was redefined. Souls cannot be journeying from pur purgatory on their way to heaven as Catholics frequently believe and assert. Instead, the so-called ghosts are thought to be actually evil spirits. Now you got the Christian church fighting amongst itself over what a definition is. Go figure. In parts of Italy, until the 15th century, families left a meal out for the ghosts of relatives before leaving for church services. Today's Halloween customs are thought to have been influenced by folk customers, customs, customers, customs and beliefs from Celtic-speaking countries, some of which are believed to have pagan roots. The origins of Halloween costumes are typically linked to the Gaelic festival Samhain, Southern Witchcraft, that said, has Samhain soap, and PAA has blue Samhain soap. Samhain marked the end of the harvest season and beginning of winter, or the darker half of the year. Now this is interesting. You want to remember this one. The history of the jack-o'-lantern. En route home, after a night's drinking, Jack encounters the devil and tricks him into climbing a tree. A quick-thinking Jack etches the sign of the cross into the bark, thus trapping the devil in the tree. Jack strikes a bargain that the devil can never claim his soul. After a life of sin, drink, and mendacity, Jack is refused entry to heaven when he dies. Keeping his promise, the devil refuses to let Jack into hell and throws a live coal straight from the fires of hell at him. It was a cold night, so Jack places the coal in a hollowed out turnip to stop it from going out, since which time Jack and his lantern had been roaming looking for a place to rest. And that's how he got the jack o lantern. In Ireland and Scotland, the turnip has traditionally been carved during Halloween. But immigrants to North America use the native pumpkin, which is much softer and much larger and makes easier to carve than a turnip. Okay. Interesting facts about Halloween. <clears throat> and the costumes that kids wear today, I know they use superheroes and all this other crap, were supposed to be skeletons, witches, devils, demons, to scare away the evil spirits. And that's why jack-o'-lanterns have the faces they do to scare away evil spirits and you put them outside your doorstep to keep the evil spirits from your house and thus we have Halloween and now we look for candy instead of soul cakes okay the scent on this so is scent notes are vetiver oak moss, black pepper, labdomum, cedar, and coca. I definitely get the moss. I get the cedar. With a little bit of black pepper. I wish my nose was sophisticated enough that I could pull out each and every scent that's supposed to be in the soap, but it is not.
this is the Excelsior base, not the uh, Omnibus. And this was a very good base, too. You look at it. When I did this with death, I could smell it the next day. You will get anywhere from 12 to 24 hours of scent off of any of the four horsemen scents. If you have a mustache and you put that soap in your mustache and let it sit for your whole shave, you will smell that for at least 12 hours. All right, this is going to be interesting. I had to clamp this. I had to put it in a in a pair of pliers. This this part comes off it unscrews I don't want to unscrew it too much because I'll lose my blade but it fit tight on the blade it came with but on this blade it was loose I had to bend this bracket right here that holds the blade and make it tighter so when I clamp this up it actually clamped the blade in place all right here we go the safety bar when you shave with it if you use one of these see where the blade is pull the safety bar bar down below the blade not above it below it put it against your face rock it out till you feel it start cutting just like a straight razor I would say I got it sharp enough. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, this is going to be a blooper of a razor, isn't it? It's going to bloop a lot. Love this scent. This, guys, is a straight razor on a stick, like I said before. It really is. Actually, not bad at all. <laughs> not bad at all. Oh, I'm using my AKA Brush Works um, number 15, never home, never alone two number 15 brush it's a 24 millimeter knot synthetic 
believe it's a G5. Yeah, it's a G5C knot. Synthetic. It's a good knot. It's got some backbone to it. But I figured that that color design, that chaotic look was good for Halloween. I want another brush from him on uh, Thursday night from um, bbs.live on Instagram. Um, so that'll be coming next week. Can I tell you what? There's a lot of blade feel with this for some reason. I have no, no, I have no idea why. You can feel it cutting and you can hear it. It's not bad. Once you get used to the stroke on it, you, you lose any apprehension, apprehension you had about using it. It's gone. You're just you just shave. Really, once you once you get the angle down, and you understand it, that it's not gonna tear you up like you think it will. You just you just shave. If you like, if you don't like a lot of blade feel, this may not be the razor for you. Creamy goodness. I understand why a lot of people had conniption fits when Will said he was switching over to Omnibus when he had Excelsior and people were bitching because they liked Excelsior so much. I understand that. But Omnibus is slicker than Excelsior. It's it's a great base. This is not bad either. This is a really good base. One thing you will want to keep in mind when using this razor, you do not want to press. <laughs> I guarantee you that. You will learn that real quick. I haven't cut myself yet. I expect blood with this shade. But you, when you put this on your skin, as soon as you feel that blade, it, it hits in your head. Do not press. So like I said, guys, this is basically a straight razor on a stick.
So pressing would not be in your best interest. Did I get myself there? My face is clean. A little bit right there. Right up against the goatee, which I probably just didn't come in enough. And very little through here. Less than I do with I get with a double edge. This scent is inspired by an old Boston cemetery, and it, when you're when it's hitting your nose, you can imagine yourself being in an old cemetery. The scent, scent-wise, it's it's very accurate to be modern, modeled after an old cemetery. I was trying not to go too far down on my neck because I do have a few bumps down here on each side and I didn't want to decapitate them because I figured any razor that was really going to decapitate those bumps this would be it. That's good guys. That's <laughs> That's really good. Uh, you know what? Still slick as snot on my neck. That's really good. I will take that every day and twice on Sunday. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, it's a good scent. Oh, I can feel the oils and butters and everything in that just sitting on my face right now. I can feel it. Cloth says no blood. Still says no blood. I've done worse with a double edge than I did with a frickin' straight on a stick. I even brought this out just in case. Thank God I didn't need it, but we are going to use Allen Block to see how close we got. Nothing, guys. Cold and wet. I got a half a point over here. This side was cold and wet. Okay, my neck's jumping up to one and a half to two, but my neck always does that. I'm sure everybody's neck gets a little bit more than their face. The neck's a lot tender, more tender skin. But that was good. There's no blood that I can see. I'm gonna put my freaking eyes on and look. I'm totally surprised. I thought I was gonna at least take the scabs off the crap that I left myself with after my last shave on Thursday. Little witch hazel. Just to keep the wrinkles away, you know? I think that's the hole. It is. Just a little aftershave, unscented. Clean out those pores a little bit more, and the balm. That much is a lot, but that's okay. Boy, get out my sweaty head. Excellent, excellent scent. I really enjoy that one. Some guys have the older one that's like, uh, uh, I think it's just like a black tub with a white skull on it. I got that one last year. so I don't know if they're making it this year. I, didn't, I haven't seen it, and it would come out for Halloween. So I think he just did the Four Horsemen for Halloween this year. All right, guys. Not as scary as it looks. Definitely not as scary as it looks. Good shaver, actually. A really good shaver. You'd be surprised. This this was actually a good shaver. So, find a good one online. Make sure it's got the handle in it like I didn't do. I had to order a second one to get the handle. And make sure it's got a decent stone and strop in it. And have fun good shaver really good shaver and a piece of shaving history really it is if you can find a gold one those are supposed to be the rarest ones and there's I have yet to see one for sale anywhere there, there weren't that many made in the first place so okay with that I will say light your jack-o-lantern to keep the evil spirits away from your door that was a good story about Jack and his lantern 
And with that, guys, I enjoyed the Halloween shave with you. I used Bear Stern Man Hollows, the Rolls Razor straight razor blade on a stick, and got a really, really good shave. I appreciate you all being here. Don't forget the affiliate link. It's getting very close to $25. It's still there. We're kind of hovering. I'll probably put that over at the beginning of the month. I'm not sure yet. Um, I don't know if I'm ordering from the razor company this month, coming month or not. But we'll find out. If one of you does, well, I'll get to, before I do, we'll get the $25 gift card and give it to you guys. Give it away. Um, don't forget the four links I'll put in the description box. Check those guys out. Give them a sub. Let's help everybody out in the community. I appreciate you being here. I know this ran a little long, but I had to read the story about Halloween and its little history. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little bit different on the history side for me, but I figured it was Halloween, so we'll go with that. All right, guys, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. I had a really good shave with the Rolls Razor. You'll probably see it again kind of soon because I did like it. I did enjoy it. So with that, I will say enough of the babbling fat guy in the camera. You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there, guys.